what is up everybody welcome to the vlog and today we're talking about a really touchy subject and it's something that I haven't really dealt with but a lot of people tend to try and hit me over the head with this subject and tell me that I'm wrong about a lot of things and I personally don't want to go for you guys opinions on this in the comment section if you have a negative opinion on this I don't understand where you're coming from but this video is literally about culture appropriation now what is culture appropriation often framed as cultural misappropriation is a concept in sociology so it's a concept it's not even a real thing this is something that people come up with and they make it a big deal more than what it is so it's a concept in sociology dealing with adoption of the elements of minority culture by members of the dominant culture it is distinguished from equal cultural exchange due to the presence of colonial element and imbalance of power so so basically what this means is that a minority culture, say Africans, Asians, Hispanics, minorities, say that it's pretty much disrespectful to take what they originated. Now I don't see a reason for it being disrespectful. And the reason behind me saying that it's not disrespectful is because something is started. Why is it a problem for someone else to duplicate or imitate someone else? If we as a planet or as Earth or as a world want to be in unity, why can we not imitate and duplicate each other? Not even duplicate each other but be able to do what other cultures do so I don't see my mind doesn't comprehend where we get cultural appropriation and for example why it's a big deal for white people or Hispanics or Asians to have dreadlocks or anything for that matter and a lot of you are probably like you don't understand it because you're already culture appropriating or let me put it this way culture or misappropriating that is the hardest thing to say why is it so hard why is it such a big deal for someone else to take what one culture does and make it their own not even make it their own but use it and I guess that I can kind of understand where they're coming from when they say that the minorities are being duplicated by the majority. And I really don't think that's a necessary argument. Because if it was the other way around, let me get Siri to help me out. That means that anything someone created, nobody else would be able to do. Hey Siri, who created hot dogs? Let me check that. My web search turned something up for who created hot dogs. Hopefully this brings clarity to my answer. It says Frankfurt am Main Germany is traditionally credited with originating the Frankfurter, otherwise known as the hot dog. So someone in Germany was the creator of the hot dogs. So basically with cultural appropriation, nobody who is not from Germany, and even to narrow it down from Frankfurt am Main, Germany, cannot have a hot dog. You know why? Because it's cultural appropriation. Their culture invented the hot dog or the sausage. And this goes just as far back as 9th century BC. And that is a long time ago. So let me compare it to nowadays. For people to say that white people cannot get dreadlocks doesn't make sense in my head. Even if you think about it as a whole, it doesn't make sense. We're all human beings. Cultural appropriation Appropriation is just a watered down version of racism. So you can't say that there's cultural appropriation and not call it racism. It is literally how African Americans went through racism, or better yet, segregation. So how are you gonna say that a segregated bathroom or a segregated water fountain isn't the same as cultural appropriation? And not to say that white people back then created the water fountains and saying you can't use it because we created it, it's not that type of thing, but they segregated it anyhow. They had bathrooms that said white only, they had bathrooms that said black only. And washing that down is cultural appropriation saying that we started it you can't use it because we are the founders and one thing that really sucks is there's a lot of people even watching this video who are not gonna hear me out on this and already bypass everything that I have to say honestly it doesn't matter if it comes from me it doesn't matter who it comes from honestly just in my head I can't comprehend cultural appropriation people can say that white people or Hispanics or Asians shouldn't and can't have dreadlocks and that's just an example there's so many things there's actually people out there who say you can't dress a certain way because they say it's cultural misappropriation but if I'm missing something, help me out in the comment section. Let me know if I'm wrong. In my mind, you can't do something and then tell someone else that they can't do it. Because if you break that down, that's hypocrisy. Even though it may not be a bad thing, it's like saying, I'm African, you can't have African food because I'm African, only I can have it. If you eat it, then it's cultural misappropriation. And that just doesn't make sense to me. And the reason I am mentioning this and making it kind of, a, I guess, a big deal so I can get through to some people, but a lot of people said I was in the wrong for saying that straight hair is nice. It really doesn't make sense to me. I didn't say anything about curly hair, or African hair, or anything. I didn't say that it was bad or terrible. I didn't even say that it wasn't good, so it kind of threw me off. I'm like, why are people getting offended at something that I didn't even mention? But people are pretty crazy. I know it's it's all understandable. The comment section can get pretty crazy. I'm not gonna sit there and argue with 
someone who is, lack of better words, ignorant. <laughs> but I love you guys. All the great fam is awesome. You guys are sweet. I'm glad you guys stuck to this little kind of, I wouldn't, I guess I could call it a rant. But honestly, the world, not even Christians, not even any of this, believe in equality. Now, I'm gonna leave that out right there, but let's just move on to the rest of this vlog. And hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you made it this far, that means that you guys are showing mad love and either that or you just wanted to hear me out so you can find something to talk about in the comment section and try to fire back at me, whatever. But I love you guys so much. You guys are awesome. And I'm trying to utilize this office as much as possible, as you guys can tell in this video alone. But let's just continue today. Today's gonna be really awesome, so stay tuned for what else is gonna happen. I have a surprise for Candace, so let's make it happen. Titles. Which one? The dinner or spotlight? Check, just pick one. What? The dinner or spotlight? Don't read it. What um, were you doing up there? Opening the box here, was in there. You couldn't wait. No, <laughs> I was excited. You it's pretty bring cool it though. You couldn't down to open it. No, I'll show you when it goes there. So. Mm -mm, I don't even want to see it anymore. Why? It's pretty cool. It's like because it looks like the apple cider vinegar. Because uh, you left me just to go open it. I was excited. <laughs> Pick a movie. Left or right? Um. What about Super Dark Times? Looks cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think so. Was it? Oh, well. You lied to me. No, I didn't. You said it was apple cider vinegar. I thought it was. No, I didn't. <laughs> it's because I want to surprise you, baby. It's real cold, baby. I thought you were leaving me out from opening your box. Mm -mm. I had to unwrap this bad boy. I had to. It's so pretty. You put it on you? Yeah. Say hello. You're recording? <laughs> no, you're not. Because earlier I was looking at it. Isn't there a red light? Oh, I was on the other side. <laughs> I looked at it like this with my fries and I was like... <laughs> because I thought the red light was right here. You caught me giving you attitude. <laughs> I was mad. Let me see it. Oh, let me take this off. It's so pretty. Let me put it on you while we're eating McDonald's. <laughs> when you said, Chandler brought you a box today, or did Chandler bring you a box? I said, yeah. And you're like, what is it? And I was like, I oh, don't know. I think it's the apple cider vinegar stuff. I oh, know I said it was. You're like, oh no. And I said, oh, is it the, and then you're like, I think it's the, and I said the product. And you said, yeah. Oh. And Nicholas doesn't want to come off of me. Man, so it's that. super nice to me. The story behind this. Oh my, I ordered this for Christmas. No way. I ordered it probably literally a month ago. What? They shipped it to the wrong address. And then I, w I had it to where I can go pick it up from the store. But then 
the day I went to go pick it up, they had shipped it out that morning. I had to call them constantly <laughs> and be like, where is it at? They switched the tracking uh, number and everything. And then I called them yesterday and they're like, oh, it should be out for delivery tomorrow. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh. It's already gonna be next Christmas. <laughs> this had so many gift wraps around it because it was wrapped. So I, I was heard up there. you. I thought it was. Oh well, I thought it was the apple cider vinegar stuff. So I was like, up there, and I heard all the rappers. I was like. Hey. Yo, what is up, everybody? You made it to the end of the video. If you guys didn't make it to the end of the video, say I really like spaghetti and meatballs. I actually really want spaghetti right now. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm super glad that Candace liked that necklace. And if you guys did hear me, I did buy that necklace literally about a month ago. And it was meant for Christmas. I literally have the gift wrap. So when I gave it to her, I had to take it out of the box that shipped it to me. And then I had to unwrap the gift wrapping and then go give it to her. So it was really cool. I wanted to surprise her for sure. And I think that was a perfect way to do it. Me and Candace are very laid back when it comes to things like this, like surprises or whatever. We didn't really go all out when it comes to a lot of things like Valentine's Day, Christmas, uh, holidays and stuff like that. We just really like to be with each other and uh, enjoy just like talking to each other but I want to show you guys a little bit of relationship goals you know what I'm saying but I went through thick and thin to get her that uh, necklace and it's really nice but with all that being said hopefully you guys did enjoy this video if you guys did give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys have not already other than that I'll see you guys tomorrow hopefully you guys have an amazing day matter of fact have a great day peace out and God bless